So a question that I get a lot is how often should I cut my lawn? And today's video is just going to be a short video, quick tip. It's not really about when do I need my cut my lawn. It's a matter of just getting on a good schedule and watching the weather. Hold on one sec. Hey guys, I think one of the biggest mistakes that people make, especially when they start to get into a more devoted lawn care system, is they wait until their lawn looks like it needs to be cut. <laughs> I went away for six weeks and my son sort of fell into that trap too. He sort of waited until the lawn kind of needed to be cut. He was doing about every three days and then if it rained, he'd put it off and he got a ton of clippings and the clipping buildup was really bad. So what I'm gonna talk about today is get more on a regimented schedule if at all possible. Um, obviously we're not using growth regulator right now. So in this hot, humid weather, um, I'm, I have irrigation, I'm putting down fertilizer, I'm putting down dirt booster. My lawn is super healthy and it's growing fast. So it's like, I could come out here almost every day and cut, but every 48 hours, every other day, it's like I need to come out here and cut this if I wanna keep it super short. So let me just show you the video I shot this morning. So let me give you an example. Day before yesterday, I think it was Saturday afternoon, I cut, I cut, a, well it was day before yesterday, I actually cut the front. So now I'm out here and I, I, it needs to be cut again almost. But there is one little issue I wanna show you. Um, I don't know if you can see it on video or not. There's like these little waves. And one of the issues was number one, I think I had my RPM set too low on my mower, but I also I also went back and just readjusted my blades. I think maybe one of the maybe my b b blade to bed night contact was off a little bit because if we go in closely and we inspect on this, see here's what I'm seeing. So I'm seeing this right here. And what is that? That is a blade that's not fully cut. So this right here in my hand is a blade that's not completely cut. So that tells me. That tells me that I need to do a blade adjustment on my mower. All right, so while I was gone, one of the things, I actually pulled up my camera once in a while. <laughs> And spied I on me? Yeah, spied on him. And so I saw him out here using the blower because you had what? Too many clippings. So we had clipping buildup. If you're using a real mower, that's a good indication that you're not cutting your lawn often enough. Um, you either need to put down a growth regulator or you need to cut it more often, which is a pain in the butt. That's the sacrifice we make as lawn gods. <laughs> the I'm trying to get across to him is basically these lawns, when you have this type of lawn, it's almost every 48 hours. So he was coming out, what, every three days? Every like 72 hours every 72 hours unless there was a rain event and then he'd skip and then that would push it four and, to five days so and and then you'd have all that clipping build up and he had all these clippings well when i came back i saw that and that's why we did that hard cut and we sucked up all those clippings so today i cut this when day Three, before yesterday not yesterday yeah not yesterday the day before yesterday we're back out we're going to cut it again and i'm going to show you what it looks like when you cut it at a good height. So let's go ahead and cut. And what I really want you to see is I want you to see the amount of clippings coming out. It's very, very light. We don't have to blow them. We don't have to pick them up. We don't have to use a grass catcher. You'll see what I mean. So the other day when I came out here, I saw this kind of wavy effect. And what that usually means is that you're not, you're not, your blades aren't cutting effectively or there's not enough RPM based on the thickness of the grass. We see that a lot when you have a push reel mower. 
you'll get this wave and it starts to bog down. So what I did was you'll notice when he turned on the real mower, I actually kicked up the RPMs just a little bit. But how's it look? Much better. Much better. Smooth. Smooth. I really don't see any of that waviness from the other day. Um, but I think, no clipping lines either. yeah, and there's no clipping lines. And that's the thing, even though we got, you can see we've got wet grass everywhere. We don't have clipping lines. And that's one of the keys to this is not having those clipping lines. Okay, so he has finished that cut. Man, it's clear blue skies and supposedly we have that tropical storm moving up. I'm glad it's a good time to cut before a storm moves in. It's a real good time to cut, man. But that just looks. My lawn, if my lawn looks like crap, I'll tell you my lawn looks like crap. <laughs> if my lawn looks fantastic, I'll tell you my lawn looks fantastic. And I gotta say right now, I can't remember a time when it's looked better. Again, with just in the middle of the summer, we put down light PGF complete, a light balance, PGF balance because we're low in phosphorus. We mix the two half and half. And then we've been coming out with Dirt Booster, which has the human char inside of it and the, micro, uh, the fungus spray. I need to edge it. I need to do an edging, but let me tell you what. That right there is just fantastic, gorgeous. So once again, I'll tell you, <laughs> if you can cut every day, come out and cut every day. If you can come out every other day and cut, it's, as more often you cut your lawn, the better it is. That little fine cutting, little fine cutting, little fine cutting is absolutely the way to go. Hit subscribe and I'll talk to you later. Dot.